a satellite built and launched in 1965 and thought to have been lost in space since 1967 has mysteriously started transmitting a signal again. The Lincoln Experimental Satellite, or LES for short, was a series of satellites built by Lincoln Lab at MIT from between 1965 and 1967. Sponsored by the US Air Force, they were built to test technology and techniques for space-based communications. There were nine to be built in total, only eight were built though, but the series of satellites had problems from the very beginning. LES-1 was supposed to reach a 15,000 km orbit, but boosters failed and left it stranded in a 2,800 km orbit. Likewise, LES-3 and 4 were also supposed to reach a geostationary orbit, but launch issues left them in their lower transfer orbits. LES-3 was designed to measure interference in the 300 MHz range caused by the flat surfaces on Earth, such as dried lake beds, while overall LES-1 through to 4 were designed to test systems for the satellite to determine its own orientation to the Sun and Earth and then to decide which antenna was best used for communication. They were also testing low-power logic circuits, X-band or microwave range radio equipment, and magnetic torque equipment which relied on a series of coils to create magnetic fields to interact with the Earth's magnetic field and help keep the satellites from tumbling. Launched in February 1965, LES-1 stopped transmitting in 1967 and was thought to be lost for good. But in 2013, an amateur radio astronomer, Phil Williams, G3YPQ, and that's the uh, radio astronomer designation for him, from North Cornwall in the UK, picked up this very faint and intermittent signal that you can hear right now. After cross-referencing the signal with signal signatures of various satellites, he determined that it was the LES-1 and released his findings for others to double-check and verify, which took several years to do. Now, while Phil does say it's remarkable to think that electronics built nearly 50 years ago or 12 years before Voyager 1 and long before microprocessors and integrated circuits is still capable of working in the hostile environs of space, Others immediately think of the movie Independence Day with Will Smith and Jeff Goblin, in which aliens hijacked Earth's satellites to use them to coordinate their attacks. Now, at the moment, it is thought that due to the battery corrosion, a direct line from the solar panels to the transmitter has been created somehow, bypassing the battery entirely, and that the signal is intermittent because it only gets power when the solar panels are in the correct alignment with the sun to generate power as the satellite tumbles through space. Now, alien conspiracy people, however, they're quick to point out that in the movie, the satellite signal code was a repeating signal that once ended would signal the beginning of the attack and that this signal from the LES-1 is in fact doing just that and repeating itself every four seconds. Others think there could be aliens trying to communicate with us through our own satellites. Did aliens hijack one of our satellites to use against us, as some suggest? or to even communicate with us, as others think? Or is it merely a short circuit in an old piece of electronic equipment allowing a bit of power through to the transmitter as the satellite tumbles through space? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below.